Hey, welcome to Living the Dream with MS. Um, today, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about not living the dream with MS. Um, I've talked many times about occasionally, um, and in, in this I've, I've shared common experiences, but really I'm talking about myself. Occasionally I do get to a breaking point, and um, that's, that's when it becomes difficult to stay positive and you know i'll say this uh, on the top and i'll probably say it as i finish but i know it's temporary and i know that i'll get through it and i know that i will keep on uh, doing as i normally do but i'm i'm up to a week of this spasticity the pain in the legs um because of that i've hyperextended my right knee severely a couple of times because I, I, on top of being uh, spastic, I'm also weak. And, you know, I'm severely overweight right now, which is another thing I'm trying to work on. But, you know, I step on that knee, and if there's no strength in it, the knee starts to go the other way. So I, I'm swollen and I'm sore there. And the other thing with being spastic is that I'm exhausted. You know, having your muscles constantly rigid is exhausting it's using a lot of my energy on top of that uh, with not walking properly I'm, I'm flaring up my back issues um, I have spondylolisthesis spondylolysis and spinal stenosis all from a football injury years ago in my L5 S1 and so when I'm not walking right everything gets out of alignment and that starts to hurt so right now today at this moment things suck they suck badly and um it's just difficult to put on a happy face and i weighed whether to make this video in this fashion um you know i did name the the, the vlog live in the dream with ms but the people that have approached me and talked about um that I helps them because I stay positive and all the information and things. Well, I felt like not making this video would be disingenuous because yes, there are chunks of time with this disease when the brightest and sunshiniest of attitudes can't get there. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I won't say a dark place, but I'm in a lot of constant pain and that's kind of worn me out. And so, you know, I get the poor me's. I get the, I get the, why can't, why couldn't this be easier, and should I consider not working anymore, um, should I reduce my involvement in things, and I, I really think hard about that when things go like this, but where I come, where I come back to is, pardon all the rotation, none, none of the body's working right, so I have to keep shifting the phone. Um, what I keep coming back to is, it's what keeps me going. The community involvement, the coaching, working, knowing that I'm able to support my family is what keeps me going. And if I was to say, say forget it and go on disability, for me, and I stress for me, that would not be a good thing. That would give me time to stew and feel bad about myself and that's just not where I'm at other people don't have a choice and I respect that all day long that's why the disability system exists currently I have a choice and as part of my personal mental health that choice is to keep working and to keep plugging and sometimes that's gonna suck out loud like right now but I'm gonna keep doing it and the love and support that I get from my family, my wife, my kids, my parents, my in-laws, everybody keeps me going so that I know as long as I keep my head down, not keep my head down in a negative fashion, but nose to the grindstone, whatever cliche you want to use, eventually I'm going to come out the other line, other way, and, you know, things will be all right. But I did want to make this video in the sense that, yes, things are very difficult for me right now. I'm not in the greatest of spaces because of the amount of pain and the, the ensuing damages that I've done to myself. But at the end of the day, and here it comes, I'm going to keep living the dream with MS.